welcome back guys and this is this video is the continuation to the brief video which I was making earlier so you can check out the part one uh, the, there will be some link in the screen actually the video terminated due to some unknown technical error so in this video we are going to talk about the plasmids which is present in the bacterias bacterias and this plasmid are nothing but the ex but some extra genetic material which the pla uh, bacteria can take inside them by the process process of transformation which we will discuss in some later video and by this process the bacteria can take in the plasmids and this plasmid has also another name known as the episome Be and the plasmid is called episome when this plasmid uh, attaches itself with the main uh, genetic material of the virus so actually they by some with the help of some enzymes it uh, cuts a suitable portion of the genetic material and then <coughs> puts itself into the genetic material of the main genetic material of the uh, uh, bacteria and then it is a part of the main genetic material it it does so when it is means uh, uh, doing the conjugation and all this so we will uh, study about them more in details in later videos so that is the plasmid so there are many types of plasmids so that according to the function we can uh, classify types of plasmids as we can see over here plasmids according to function can be uh, the F plasmid the R plasmid the coal plasmid the TI plasmid and the RI plasmid so what are these let us try to talk in detail <coughs> the F plasmid stand for the fertility plasmid that means that the bacteria which possess this plasmid that is the F plus bacteria plus refers uh, plus means to stay, say that the bacteria possesses the F plasmid <coughs> is <coughs> genetically called a male bacteria and the bacteria which doesn't have this F plasmid is called a female bacteria when the bacteria is conjugating it actually transfers this F plasmid from the F plus to the F minus bacteria and that's way the gene recombination and all that can take place so that is the F plasmid it plays a role in determining the sex of the bacteria you can say like that so the next in the list is the R plasmid R stands for the resistant plasmid resistance plasmid and this plasmid is thought to have those genes which code for this capsule layer as you can as we have discussed in the previous video that this capsule layer gives the bacteria protection as if some uh, WBCs engulf this bacteria having the capsule layer the lysosomal enzymes cannot degrade this bacteria so this bacteria will be engulfed inside the cell and thrown away, f thrown away from the cell in a whole condition it is not degraded at all due to the presence of this capsule which is produced by this R plasmid so this R plasmid is believed to give resistance to antibiotics also so that is the resistance plasmid or the R plasmid next is a coal plasmid which stands for the colchicine as many of you may know that it's uh, colchicine is a mitotic poison that means the bacteria having the coal plasmid or the coal plus bacteria we can say like that the coal plus bacteria can make its colchicine and secrete it in the environment <coughs> where it this colchicine can arrest the mitotic uh, mitotic apparatus of the uh, neighboring cells in the metaphase uh, metaphase stage as many of you may, uh, us may know and this will eventually kill the cells as if the cells are not able to divide then that cell cannot carry on in finite time up, up, up to infinite time so that's why they are the uh, this coal plasmid is dangerous and it kills the neighboring cells and reduces the competition of the bacteria now the next is the TI plasmid which stands for the uh, uh, what we say tumor inducing plasmid so uh, the, the bacteria having this type of plasmid can <coughs> secrete some uh, mutagens or muta uh, case, secrete some t toxic substances which can uh, uh, go into the genetic material of the neighboring cells and then do some mutation which may lead to the genetic materials 
uh, which may lead to the cells dividing very rapidly and very fast which we call as tumor so this can these type of bacteria can also cause cancer so uh, one example can be agrobacterium tumificans uh, which is also a ti plus plasmid carrying bacteria the last one is the ri black plasmid which is uh, root inducing plasmid so if you know that uh, while culturing uh, plants okay so we can change the hormonal level such as the cytokinin is to auxin level to induce rooting and shooting shoots to induce root and shoots in plant this factor function can be done by bacteria also some bacteria like agrobacterium rhizogens can induce root in a plant and hence it can be used for this culture experiments also to culture plants <coughs> and induce roots artificially so that can be an alternate way also to induce roots so that was some <coughs> facts about plasmids <coughs> now we are going to talk about the flagella and pili and the fimbriae which a bacteria possesses so let me draw them on the uh, surface quickly so over here we can see right now that this is uh, large structures this ones are the flagella in the bacteria <coughs> so this flagella helps in motility of the bacteria in water as the normal function of the flagella it is composed of the flagellin protein and it has the 9 plus 0 arrangement or arrangement inside it so we will study in later videos I am just telling all in brief and these uh, structures you can see over here <coughs> small structures not the larger ones not this one or not that one the small structures <coughs> they are called the pili <coughs> this pili helps the bacteria <coughs> to attach to the cells okay so the bacteria can be attached to a particular position like the capsule is a sticky surface sticky layer outside the bacteria to help it in attachment this pili also helps the bacteria in attachment and this last this larger structures are called the fimbriae and these structures help in formation of the conjugation tube in bacteria and we will study about it in later the process and it after formation of the conjugation tube through the conjugation tube this transfer of plasmids and all that takes place okay now the last thing I want to touch upon is the pigments in bacteria like some bacteria like the we call it the purple bacteria uh, because it is purple in colored has a pigment called bacteriochlorophyll A so it is obviously photosynthetic purple bacteria so purple bacteria purple in color but still photosynthetic uh, because of the presence of the pigment bacteriochlorophyll A which is purple in color okay and it includes sulfur and non sulfur bacteria both <coughs> and the second type of pigment is in the green sulfur bacteria which is the chlorobium chlorophyll or the bacteriovirin we call it bacteriovirin also and this is green colored and this also helps in the photosynthesis so that was all about the bacterial cell structure next in the next video we will going to we are going to talk about the structure of the cell wall in detail and how it can be used to classify bacteria into two types that the that is the gram positive and gram negative so meet you in the next video thank you